hungry? What's next? Get them ready. Need help? I hope Fenrir got some sleep. Maybe he'll be ready to eat when we get home. He is quite sick, Tris. I know, but he was a little better yesterday. Until he wasn't. If he keeps eating, I'm not giving up on him. Stay alert. Don't make me do this! Ah! 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 
Dave, we made it. Let us go home. It's Becky, it's Vanna. Up. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't take the shot. I did not wish you to. I keep hoping she'll let it go. You saved her life. I killed her son. There is no letting that go. Yeah. I guess killing Balder really did bring on Fimblewinter. It never stopped snowing after that day. Think it's ever gonna get better? Someday. But the worst is still ahead of us. We must be strong. I don't hear him. He always says hello. Atreus. Fenrir. You okay, boy? your food? You still hungry? Come on, boy. We need to eat. Eat. Why? Too big? still eating. He wants to live. He is dying. You're a good boy. A brave boy. Fast and strong. But you can rest now. Okay? I'll be okay. You can let go now. You have to let go. Sofna. Afra. Desu. 
so far. Hey, Don. Sofna. 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 No. It's the middle of the night. Night does not stop our enemies. Why? What for? Tranking is all we ever do. Ever. It's not enough. We can't hide forever. Time is running out. The prophecies say Fimblewinter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. Whatever Loki's supposed to be doing, he's supposed to be doing it now. My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there, finding out who I am, who Loki is. I will not allow you to pick a fight with God. I don't want to fight anyone. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to war with Asgard? Maybe that's what Mother wanted. You do not know what Mother wanted. Looks like we never will. Before I bury him, Recognize that dour expression anywhere. Care to tell me what went wrong? The wolf is gone. Oh, no. Not Fenrir. How's the lad taking it? Not well. He goes to bury him. Oh, damn it. Right, brother. Good night then.
Kratos? Are you joining me? Very. Are you ready? You walk as though Emir himself sits atop your shoulders. This is your hunt. I will follow. Very well, Grumbles. Fresh kill. At least it didn't suffer. Hmm. Am I to decipher your grunting? Tell me your thoughts. We hunt a predator. A wolf. Yes. Predators kill. It is the natural order of things. Your words are misguided. Shh. Approach slowly. It's okay, little one. We want to help. Don't we? No, no, don't! Come on. The sick wolf we found beyond our stave. He found his way inside. As I said he would. We should have acted. It was not our concern. Now it is. The problem doesn't have to reach our doorstep for it to be our responsibility. If we have the power to limit the harm it could cause, we should act. Who are we to hide and do nothing? We are not hiding. Gonna make me pick that one up? <gasps> mm. Good boy. <gasps> this way. Very. Atreus. Hence my bellowing. He never came back from burying the wolf. It's been some time. He cannot be far. You don't suppose he was training in the middle of the night? I suggested as much. Did you? What on earth for? He was grieving. Oh, Kratos, I know you're trying. This has not been opened. No prints this way either. Let's see. Tracks heading down to the frozen river. That's most likely where he did the burying. Fire's dwindling now. Where else could he have gone from here? 
He crawled through here. You seem troubled in your sleep, even for you. Nightmares? I dream of the past. Almost every night. Ah, the bad old days in Greece? No. It feels like Faye is trying to tell me something. You don't mean to say you're talking to ghosts again, brother? No. But it is something more than memory. <sighs> Use your words, brother. The tracks stop here. Out, Nerman! And we're not alone. on the protection stain. There's a tree up ahead, yeah? Well? You're right. The stave is broken. Explains our trespassers. What happened here? Brother, back there. A dead animal. A struggle? We must find Atreus. Aye. Between the savage beasts and marauding raiders, he may have sought shelter. Follow the trail. We'll find him. Ah, we need a way around. Aha! Trail's on the other side of that gap, if you can clear the way. Any idea what could have made the lad wander off? We argued. He accuses me of... hiding from Odin. Eh, only sensible to keep a low profile after killing three of his kin. A reckoning will come. That is why Atreus must learn to survive on his own. Oh, this is about that prophecy. Just because the giants had you dead on some wall full of otherwise accurate predictions... I do not believe in prophecies. Well, good. Do you believe in prophecy? I'm skeptical by nature, though we have seen things that defy explanation. So, speaking as the smartest man alive, I have no bloody idea. Trail gone. Thinking, brother, but Atreus can handle himself. 
You've taught him well. So he keeps telling me. Torches. And the trail leads into that cave. Well, you know where we are going. I'm sure we can find a quiet way in. Or you can do that. Are these the raiders you rescued the wolves from? No. They have not been here long. goes through here. Leads deeper in. There will be more. Well, someone no. got in the bear's way. Stay! Fire from above! <laughs> That one's got a slave. Look out, cover! Good hit, brother! Atreus, are you here? Huh. Well, that's for the best. Let's find a way out. The trail leads back out. We'll need our own way up to find it again. Perhaps Atreus came here seeking shelter. He kept moving when he saw the raiders, and the bear came barreling after. Impressive rampage, I'll give it that. You think the bear was chasing Atreus? Well, just as likely the bear was hurt and Atreus was chasing it to help. You know the lad. Atreus, where are you? <laughs>
Prayed Fenrir, and then I'm—I'm I'm not sure. I was so sad, and then I was angry and scared. I remember running. There was a bear. Charging and I charged back. That had to be a dream. Your emotions, they transformed you. Uh, I, I, I didn't know I could do that. taught me discipline. I need more than that. I need answers. Answers you don't have. Answers only your mother had. That's how she withheld. What if there was someone who could help us? Someone that could give us answers about the giants and who Loki's supposed to be? Atreus. Wouldn't it help to understand what I'm becoming? Atreus! Listen to me. Inaction is also a risk. You taught me that. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general. No! Going to discuss the boy becoming a bear? Yeah. Are we? Not now. We need to repair the protection stave and get home. What happened to the protection stave? You did. So you're blaming me? I am not blaming you, Atreus. Well, tell your voice that. Mister! Oh. 
So, lad, besides your gift of language and hearing creatures' thoughts, are there any other new magical abilities to report? Not really. What of Fenrir? What about him? When he died, you cast a spell. No, I didn't. But I saw light. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Trick of Fimble Winter, perhaps. Seen my share. Recognize where we are now. What's with all the blood? Yours, Atreus. Seriously? That, or any prey you might have been dragging, I suppose. Not sure that makes me feel any better. What? What can we do? Nothing. Nature will take its course. been like this all night. I must have been inside the stave when I fixed it. Hey, Svana. You're not scared. You're a brave girl. Good. Brave girl. That's right. He's good with them. No surprise, really.
Becky. Atreus! I'm just checking on... To bed! Yes, sir. As evenings go, that was entirely too eventful. Though I admit it was a bit like old times there. For a moment. The three of us navigating some hitherto unhappened upon patch of forest. Been a while since you've joined us. If that's what you mean. Ah, well, just tired, I suppose. You've seen one deer hunt, you've seen them all. How can you feel tired when you never sleep? There are other kinds of tired, lad. You'll see when you're older. Now have a proper rest, my brothers. Things are always brighter in the morning. Company. No. I'm sure we'll find lots to talk about. You could have told me before I poured. Why are you here? Uh, just uh, being polite. You seem like a calm and reasonable person. See the moment calls for calm. <laughs> yeah.
You know who I am? Back before winter set in, there were some misunderstandings. Regrettable ones. But I think we all have a better idea of who we're dealing with. Now, what you did to his boys. Self-defense. Dying is what we Aesir live for. And let's be honest, they were kind of useless. But Balder, he had value. He was my best tracker, my closer. Yeah, his mind was gone, sure. But he had his uses, and now he's gone because of you. You follow me? You have a debt. And you're no fun anymore. What do you want? How about peace? How does peace strike the esteemed, retired god of war? How about we just don't kill each other? How about you stay home, kick up your feet, seek no quarrel with me, and I'll have none with you. Of course, it means that that one, that one has to stop his search for tear. Yeah, we know what you've been up to. Stop it. Tears old ways are dead. He is dead. You understand? And then that's it. Then we're square. Shit, I'll even sweeten the deal. I'll let you keep the prisoner that I know you stole. <laughs> that's right. I know you're in here somewhere, you silver-tongued little shit. Why should we believe it without you? What of your promises ever been worth? There he is, my old partner in crime. He's lost weight. If he tells you snow is white, he's lying. What kind of wisdom is that? Can't the smartest head alive see past himself? See that we all want the same thing? All right. Here's a deal I know you can trust. I'll settle your debt with my ex. Keep Freya off your back. Keep your boy safe. That's really all you want, isn't it? So what do you say?
Was hoping to see your blade. Guess they don't come when you call. <laughs>
Consider your blood debt paid. Be seeing you. That was quite a fight. Can we... Bro, now! Odin is with Atreus. Oh, no. I'll go get a gateway ready. Come on, then. Ain't a long walk. <laughs> well, good to see you making new friends. Ain't that me old near pack a punch? You know we made that hammer, right? You have mentioned it. I know that. Wasn't ever sure you were listening. At least it was good to see the axe hold their own. Kind of. All set. This'll get you home. Hey, one last thing there, Tiny. If you got Aesir at your door, then I reckon your protection stays busted. Once you chase Odin off, you got another place to lay your head tonight? And I don't mean that talking, fella. I will not abandon my home. Oh, yeah? And what's to stop the all-fucker from spying on you? Or Raven pecking your house to splinters while you're asleep in it? Nothing, that's what. You go get your boy, and I'll speak to a certain someone about putting you up at his place in a pinch. I was about to look for you. Are you hurt? Are you? What does he want? To uh, pay for the roof. And he invited me to Asgard. Did he? I couldn't hear once he went outside. I, I told him no. Obviously. Good. Why were you searching for Tia? If I told you I was looking for him, you would have said not to. So you hid the truth from me? I wanted to tell you. I really did, but now that you know, there's something you should see. No. Just trust me, you'll want to. You have broken my trust. Then let me regain it. Let me show you what I found. Besides, we haven't seen the last of Odin. Or Thor. And clearly they can just walk in and blast holes in our home whenever they want. There's only one way to get them off our backs. I think I know how. Sir. So we gather your things.
Are you ready? Go. The old temple in the Wildwoods. Why? It'll be easier to explain once we're there. Did Odin say anything else while you were outside? Yeah. He said he doesn't care about Jotunheim anymore. That the giants can keep their secrets. He's averted Ragnarok his own way. You think he knows all the giants are dead? I'm more concerned that it no longer matters to him. What's he up to? What happened here? So close to home. Our raiders warring with one another now. Those are not their arrows. Something else is out here. More over here. And fresh. Did they all get in while the stave was down? That or Odin cocked up the protection spell altogether. What do you see? Hmm. Just animal tracks. Almost to the bridge. Oh, guess the bridge gave out. Gonna need another path to the temple. Why would you come out this way alone, lad? I had dreams calling me here. <laughs> Whoa, that one's still alive. No, you're closer. Ah, <sighs> Hell Raiders now? Who's doing this? Suppose it's too much to hope that an enemy of theirs would be a friend of ours. Yeah, probably. What was that? Something strong and dangerous. Be on guard. Oh yeah, being all the way on guard. Whatever it is, it works fast. Remember when I said there was someone who might help us get answers about the giants in Loki? You mean Tyr, the old god of war in these lands, who is dead? Well, for a dead man, Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found. Right? He knows Tyr could unite the realms against him. Plus, Tyr was the giant's greatest ally. So... Enough. <gasps> Still putting 
up offering soda. I don't think he cares. Uh, that pillar wasn't in the way last time I came. <laughs> Like I was saying, Tyr was an ally to the Giants. So he'd be on our side if we find him. And if anyone might know who I'm supposed to be, it's him. If he's out there, we gotta find him. How can we not? Those are many ifs, Atreus. What do you know? You'll see soon. <gasps> Imagine what the lads found, but he says he has evidence. We've come this far. Let's see it. Many dead here. We should keep moving. Too late. Father, use your blades. Burn them. <laughs> 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 Nisa!
Isn't it nice how Thimblewind to wore down all the helpful magic we acquired? Yet somehow new terrors only flourish. As if on cue. Kill. Winterman. Yep, you got it. Wonder who they mean. We climb. On it. Ah, he has gotten rather good at that. Yet another grizzly scene. Watch your right! I've seen my share of bloodshed, but this is an awful lot for one more. Oh no! Brother! A stalker! On your guard, brother! I think we found our predator! The raiders torn out and barging in, and now stalkers playing in our woods. This is no safe haven anymore. Father, the shield Mom gave you. Thor damaged it, but now... Perhaps the dwarves could take a look at it. Perhaps. Later. <laughs> Come on, we can get in this way. Why are we here, Atreus? Okay. You remember all those shrines we found, telling the stories of giants? How the panel on the left would be their origin, and the panel on the right would be their fate? Yes. 
We found many. I have seen them. Well, there's more to them than we realized. Well, the collapsed pillar is new, but the shrine is just on the other side. <laughs> That should help. Did something give over on the right? There we go. Come on. Watching? Well, that's new. Come on. Atreus, wait. Yeah, I don't think he's waiting. What is this, lad? Where are we? Somewhere only giants were meant to see. These shrines tell their stories to the world. But it turns out the real stories, the secret stories, those they kept here, inside. You remember the story of Skull and Hati, the wolf giants? Odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when Ragnarok starts. I remember. But that's not the whole story. See, this shows the giants setting Skull and Hati free. They're free? Is this the past or the future? Depends when you're looking at it. Spoken like a giant. See? The wolves are safe. Somewhere in Vanaheim. Not the first place Odin would look, I suppose. There they are, chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. Until, look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. See? Hati's got nothing to chase. And they say celestial theft is a victimless crime. Not totally sure who this is, but someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then, the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse? I haven't seen one of those in a hundred winters. But then they chase an arrow, and things go back to normal. What does any of this have to do with... We're coming to that. Look, here's Ragnarok. Do you see who's leading the armies against Odin? That's Tyr. If he's gonna be around at Ragnarok, that means he's gotta be alive. Right? Mimir. Can this be? Odin told me he killed Tyr, and he trusted me at the time, or so I thought. What if he didn't kill him? What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait. We are going home. Wait! I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here. Everything I found. Well, almost everything. That's giant craftsmanship. You've been to Jotunheim again? No. I found it in one of the other shrines. Oh, that's right. How many have you visited? I... well... all of them? All the ones I could still get to in Midgard, anyway. I don't know what it is. But it's important. Just like all this. 
When I was inside one of the shrines, I saw an image of Tyr imprisoned, but I couldn't tell where. There are hints inside the other shrines. You mention black smoke and the bleeding earth, but we can never figure out exactly. We. Yeah, Sindri's been helping me. Look, I talked him into it. It it wasn't his idea. I just needed someone to watch my back. Black smoke. Bleeding earth. Could the prison be in Muspelheim? Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realms. But the bleeding out? Sounds like a mine, eye. Uh, the realm of the dwarves, perhaps. Spartal fine. That's a good bet. Their minds did belch black smoke, and Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves for a very long time. That's it then. Tears and Svartal find somewhere, imprisoned in a mine. So, what now? Home. This way. Lad, even if we consider looking for Tyr, how do you have us getting to Svartalfheim? You know Odin's had all travel between realms locked up tight. Sindri said he had an idea or two about that. Sindri is full of ideas. Huh. Ground looks kind of cracked there. There's a shortcut this way. What's under there, you think? Ah, back to smashing through things for fun and profit. Lovely. To the lad? Not much. They stepped outside. But he told us about it. I wouldn't worry. What about the things he did not tell us? Hmm? Remember when we fought our first troll out this way? I remember you lost control. We must tread carefully, brother. Danger is close. You okay fighting without a shield? It is not my first time. curiosity against him. It goes with being young. In my youth, we learned obedience. And is that what you wish for him? Brother, he's going to walk his own path. If you don't want him walking away from you, then smarten up and walk with him a while. Hmm. If we could find a way to open Rome travel to Spartalfon, I bet there'd be all sorts of useful equipment for us. Enough. We will go. Really? But if we do not find Tyr, you will abandon your search for good. All right. 
You won't be sorry. Kratos! Over here! Sentry! As I live and breathe, is that Atreus? It's been so long! How you've grown! <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Well, if you'll follow me, Brock mentioned you needed somewhere safe to spend the night, and I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it. After you, my friends. Where are we going? The cleanest cabin in all the Nine Realms. And I'd prefer it to stay that way. Not looking at anyone in particular. Kratos. <sighs> After that Thor incident, we thought we should make up some rooms. Till you can figure out your next moves. Nearly there. As you can see, we've settled here in the Realm Between Realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimble Winter, safe from Odin's eyes. And you really can't beat the view if you're into shimmering gray voids. That's amazing, Sin. We have a plan to talk to you about, actually. Intriguing. Come in. Come in! Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay, then. If your bedrooms are there, the kitchen is just over there. Any... Anybody need a snack? Kratos? Snack? I do not need a snack. What we need is your help getting to Sparto Farm so we can try and rescue Tyr. To Tyr? Well, al alive? I mean, that's... What? It it's okay. I told him everything. Everything? You waited my son and disobeyed me. No, I, I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. Nothing risky. Everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. You said you know a way? Yes, I do. I just... It's just... There's... It's just a lot of mud. Then why haven't you opened the way already, man? Well, to be frank, there was... something we needed your help with. Oh! The Holder brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. That's it precisely. Hey! Not so fast. How'd that get in here? What the hell is he anyway? That is my son. Well, what in all yarns me the happen to him? He's too damn tall now. And he looks like that. I blame you. Now, well, come on, then. Let's get him something that fits, at least. He's just getting older, you dark prat. Didn't you ever have an awkward phase in your youth? Hey. I yeah, suppose what's done is done. But you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good. Oh, he's trying. Believe me. All right, let's gear you fuckers up before you go off gallivant. Do you know this? Hmm. Busted up good. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? It is important to me. Well, I'll see what I can do. In the meanwhile, how about I fix you up with something to get you by? We got materials to make one of these in the here and now. You bring me more resources, we'll see what we can do.
If the kid's gonna insist on getting taller, best make a habit of swinging in for new duds. Some items you left behind, tossed them in the chest. What would you do without me? I'm gonna go look around, check out my room. Tell Sindri when you're ready. Thank you. This place is great, Sindri. You built it all yourself? Hmm. Looks like Thimble Winner's been hard on our girl. Give her here. She's overdue for some Brock love. Keep her sharp and she'll keep you alive. No refunds. And how's life been treating everyone's favorite as a Bulgarian? The fuck you call me? <laughs> Exquisite. Hey, come see. Finding everything all right, I hope? How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. <laughs> so, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader, Durlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your being, don't you? I suppose you think Durlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, bro? Will he help us or not? No, oh, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. This smudge sponger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine! Go darken Durlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. You hear that? We'll just need the Bifrost and the head. Brock, 
do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those bifrost eyes of yours. So, I... Uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh! Oh, Cindy, a stodding bastard! <laughs> Open! Open now! I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it! <laughs> oh! That's it! That's it! Good! Now... Release! Go on, Poison! Oh, that's our cue! Come on, hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming! Russell got eggs, man! What was that for? You'll see soon enough. You'll just... <gasps> there! That should do it! <sighs> see? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck! Kratos! Throw me at him! Horns first! <laughs> Can't you take a joke, you old goat? <laughs> the Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first... Come on, let me show you how it works. Okay, aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right, then concentrate. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck! Feel that? What's that, lad? Anything. E everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Uh, Careful, <sighs> lad. Ah! Why are these things so fast? I see we're already off to a lively start. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here, against Odin, and never talked about 
The fact that it didn't go well might have covered that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. They are resources. If you never asked Mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. Uh, did you see that over there? That wheel is blocking the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know what is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. <laughs> if only we were in Midgard. That water'd be frozen in the second. Brother, you think freezing it would work? What if you used your axe on it? Tyr was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The god of war often advocated for the giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Left side! It's coming! <laughs> Okay, there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. More there! Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Sparklefine. With all the mining here, the land bound to be a wee bit bothered. Oh, wow. Nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. <laughs> I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Sparto Farm? Aye, lad. Thimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Thimble Winter doesn't always make it... 
won't you? In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Father, up there. They cap those geysers? Hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving. But the water doesn't reach.
Okay, we froze one of those geysers. Is there another one somewhere? The dwarves of this realm are anything like Rock and Sindri. It's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. Atreus, you intend to recruit Tyr as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nidavolir. Nisa! It's too fast. Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. Gotta get behind it. But how? There must be a better vantage point. Somewhere we can attack it without it seeing us. Way there. There's gotta be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Look, there's a chain we can pull up there. You can uncover that guy that's in here. <laughs> oh, I think I get it. If you freeze the guy, the pressure will turn the wheel. <laughs> nice one. Hmm? Can you see anything? 
thing from that block? What about freezing the guys or under the wheel? Maybe? Lad, if I may, what exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? Let's hope Tyr's in a talkative mood after being in prison for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter. Maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. Atreus, Might be on look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither of the brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh. They're, uh, running away. sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Could we talk we to you for any trouble, please? There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear him. Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. Thanks for grabbing this. What is a dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oh, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it? What's it gonna be this time? Patience! I find it's best to see these things... Oh, in action! Ah. There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, ski alpha.
Ah! Well, I certainly didn't expect you to deserve half the creepy crawlies in need of a leer. How was I supposed to know they were there? Okay, so, Derlin. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. Atreya, this way. Best of luck. It seems like neither Valir's locked down because of us. Mm. Outsiders are not welcome here. I imagine that large statue of Odin has something to do with it. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of, to keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. Tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. <clears throat> Looks to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. A firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp wit she had until she turned to less subtle means of resistance. Brock may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. Whoa. I think I see something. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. At your service. That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. Well, everyone's hiding on this side, too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. <laughs> Why hide? Oh, wow. Sindri wasn't kidding about the structural sensitivity. <laughs> the 
This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. I can't point though. I think that's him. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here. Please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Really, your Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. The bay just beyond this tunnel. I helped build some mining rigs. What about them? They're a mistake of mine, from quite a long time ago. If you've got the time, I'd have us turn them off. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you.
So we're going to Durland's? Makes sense. We could always explore those mining rigs later. This is the safety office? Well, the sign a hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. We're looking for Durlin? Do you have an appointment? Uh, no? Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> here to collect on something, pal. Think, uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Estrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I... Wonder where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, got it, got it. Failed. Faye is dead. Rest of them all. One's left alive have to pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfheim from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the old father's given name and, uh, uh, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Play it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. <laughs> 